This is the story of Amara the deaf and misunderstood girl. In the days where disabilities were heavily misunderstood, Amara suffered a hearing loss, but only her family and a few others understood her. For this reason, many other maidens of the Isuku community thought she was a snob who thought she was better than everyone else. Amara had friends who didn't understand her, so they thought bad about her in her absence. Amara would read lips to understand what people were saying, and for this reason, she needed to be close enough to see how the lips moved to make out the words being said. But many people would rather hide their lips because they say bad things about her even when she could see it. Amara, however, was happily quiet in her space, not bothering anyone and just happily learning to cook really nice, delicious cuisines. So when she can clearly read lips, she goes completely silent to understand, making everyone talk about her from the young, the old and the envious ones. But one day, the prince of Isuku was intrigued by her beautiful story, especially the fact that she is silent. He had always feared women who talked a lot, but he understood that silence is smart. But Amara's best friend, Chizoba, wasn't going to let the prince pick Amara over her. After all, she could speak and she was equally beautiful. The prince thought Chizaba spoke for Amara because she was her friend. But he soon realized that Chizaba was rather speaking ill of Amara and presenting herself as a better maiden for the prince to marry. Amara paid no attention to Chizaba because she still wanted her friend with her. The prince, however, went back to devise a plan on how to win his first love, 